Cell. We've been doing a lot. Been working on the, the blade quests. Turn the game up. Why is the game not up? Is that better? Ah, you're back. Thank you for the reset. 31 months, dear lord. Also remember, the game gets loud when we get into gameplay. So I'm probably going to have to lower it again in a minute. We've been working on the the blades. Filling out their stories, their livelihoods. But there is one story that we haven't started yet. And that is Mithra's story. Welcome to the DLC campaign of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, titled Torna the Golden Country. This is the story of what happened 500 years ago during the Aegis War. Let me know if I need to raise or lower the volume. The year was 3564. The 107th Indoline Praetor, Rodalis, had sent an armed expedition against the country of Sia. Its capital, Amranta, fell overnight and sank beneath the clouds, along with the rest of the Titan. The destruction of Sia shocked all the nations of Allrest. Officially, the act was attributed to a military alliance led chiefly by Indol and the emerging power of Mor Ardain. In fact, it had been the work of one blade, the Aegis, a man known as Malos. Said to be the architect's word incarnate. Back then, neither Laura nor myself knew how closely his fate would prove to be tied with ours in the days to come. You're that eager to die? Then allow me to assist! There's no 
Enter them. And it's not just the Vol from Ferris. Even the Balufo's caught up in it. Laura, can you smell it? Huh. Ugh, it stinks like... Yeah, no doubt about it. Blood. It's driving them crazy. Introducing the best battle theme in the fucking series. But first, we have a tutorial. Approach an enemy with R to target them, press A to draw your weapons. The character with their weapon drawn will auto attack. Every auto attack hit, your art gauges will fill up slightly. This is called Arts Recharge. With the gauge full, press the corresponding buttons to use the art. Use an art at the precise moment an auto attack connects. You can cancel into the art without winding down from the attack. This is called Action Canceling. You can cancel arts into specials too, and by unlocking certain nodes on affinity charts, it becomes possible to cancel arts into other arts. A successful cancel will charge the special gauge more than usual, so it's worth learning this tricky technique if you want to maximize efficiency. It's been a while, so I don't actually remember the timing for her arts. Team is composed of a driver and their blades. The level XP, HP, Strength, Ether, Agility, Dexterity, and Luck stats are common to all members of a team. In battle, a team is split between vanguard and rearguard positions. The character in the vanguard is the attacker, while the rearguard plays support. Hey Paulu, you, as the player, directly control the vanguard. The rearguard will attack and provide buffs automatically. There was no cutscene, so I have to actually collect the gold myself. When you receive an attack, the damage you took will be displayed as a red bar, indicating recoverable HP. This damage is healed by using a vanguard switch. The recoverable HP will drain over time. Performing Vanguard switches whenever you can, and keeping your HP high is the key to victory. When the team's HP reaches zero, they'll be incapacitated. If you can't continue the fight, you'll be returned to the last landmark you passed without any burner penalties. Okay. Once the rear guard gauge fills up in battle, you can press up or down on the D-pad to perform a maneuver called a Vanguard switch. When you trigger a vanguard switch, the rearguard will move up to trade places with the vanguard while attacking with their switch art. After the switch, the new vanguard's art gauges will be full, ready to be used immediately, so using a vanguard switch is a good way to press an attack. Ooh, it's the Bulufo. Special is a move that uses cooperation between the team members to great effect. Using arts will in turn charge the special gauge. This is called special recharge. When this gauge is full, you press A to use a special. I kinda already used one, but that's fine. When the charge of the special gauge is up beyond level 1, all the way up to level 4. Whereas level 1 has a vanguard attack alone, levels 2, 3, and 4 are a real team effort. But first, here's a free special gauge top up so you can try using a level 4 special and admire Laura and Jin's flawless coordination. When using a special, a button challenge will pop up on screen. Press the right button at the right time as instructed, and the move's effect will be magnified.
like I said, the best battle theme in the series. Thank you, Jin. Well, we've got room for improvement. Of what? This fighting style. It magnifies our strength, sure, but it leaves us wide open. When the sword is in my hand, you're left defenseless. What, you won't keep me safe? Huh? I'll keep you safe, always. I'll keep you safe, always. You... you still remember that? I've thought about it. Every day for these 17 years. I'll never forget it. The day you set me free from a life of misery. I see. This is the compass. It is just as bad as it was in the base game. The number above each marker gives a distance to the object, and it tells you if it's above or below you. And the environmental data has not changed too much. As has the minimap. Same as current objective. The majority of the HUD has not changed much between base game and the DLC. Now, important piece of advice. Did you see that notification that said new tips have been added? I waited so long that it disappeared. In this game, you could check previous tutorials from the menu. The notification just now was to tell you that new options have been added to the menu. If you run into something you're unsure of while playing, Go to Main Menu, System, Tips to see if it's been explained there. That is something that they should have put into the base game but didn't and it infuriates me. Fucking infuriating. Because there is no reason that they should not have been able to patch this in. Anyway. Yes. As damn well it should. This is an improved version of the engine that the base game runs on. Which is also improved upon further to make Definitive Edition. Losario Woodland, where you are right now, is a special kind of area known as a landmark. Allrest features three kinds of areas. Locations, landmarks, and secret areas. You can instantly travel to any previously discovered landmark or secret area from the skip travel menu found in the main menu. Additionally, there is still the shortcut with the X button. But, I was talking a lot during that first battle. So I'll let you hear it. I'm kind of mad that it died right as the uh, chorus started. Laura, interestingly, is the oldest Xeno protagonist, being aged at 27 during the events of this game. Really weird.
still want a tango, huh? Alright. God damn. <laughs> Technically, yes, I just have to get to the area. It would help if the, the stupid wolves would stop aggroing me every time I run by one. Because I do want that free, that easy early game XP. Hi, Jin. Hi, Jin. Alright. Our first quest objective. What happened? Are you alone? Looks like the only survivor. These burn patterns don't look like Malice's handiwork. Must have been humans. Looting and pillaging while the world burns. Hey, it's okay. Would you like to come with us? You don't have to worry, really. We're all good people. Promise. Can you walk? You can. Good going. And your family? Were they there with you? Should we go back and... Mikal. Hmm? My name is Mikal. Oh, right. I'm Laura. And he's... I don't have a family. I was sold to this village from Estem. So I'm all alone. I see. Right then. Starting today, we're going to be your new family. We'll take you back to our friends and... You people? You're strangers. You don't have to pretend to care. Uh... uh <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do you? He's gonna be a handful, this one. Though really... I was just the same once. Very well. Friends first, then. Not family. How's that sound? Laura. Hmm? What's up? I'll scout the area. Look after him. Oh, of course. Be careful. And Jin. I know. What was that you said, Baltric? The sea and capital of Omrantha has fallen. Or rather, it was annihilated. Praetor Redalus. So it has come to pass after all. Respectfully, you aren't much of an actor, Eminence. It appears you are not surprised at all. We heard disturbing rumors circling among the Magisters. Amalthus, whom you recently elevated to Quester? People wonder if this calamity has anything to do with that man's blade. With such extraordinary power, is it really wise to, uh... No matter whose power affected it, 
It is sure to serve the greater glory of Indal. The architect will surely be pleased. Eminence, do you believe it can be controlled? If it cannot, I will let him take the blame. I have spoken. Thank you for your report, Magister Baldrick. You may return to your duties. Hmm. This looks like a good spot to set up camp. Yeah, I'll start preparing the food. Oh wow, you're a star, Jin. What do you reckon you'll make? Let's see now. I should be able to get my hands on a few choice ingredients around here. We could find some torn in trout, deviled onions, and sour avocados. I could stew them together. You like trout stralu, right? It's absolutely divine. You'll join us for a bite to eat, won't you, Mikhail? I guess. Perfect. Then let's get set to work and hunt for those ingredients. All three of those things should be easy to come by around here. No need to travel off the beaten path. Party formation has changed. We now have Team Laura as well as our first guest, Mikhail. What you're looking at right now is a collection point. Check here to uncover collectible items. You'll find collection points all over Allrest, and each area will have its own selection of items to discover. Also, there are some collection points where you can use Blade's field skills to find special collectible items that you couldn't get else otherwise. Collectibles that you find are sure to come in handy during adventure, so if you come across a collection point, be sure to check it out. Alright, I am going to do one thing. Options. I want to go to sound settings. I want to just bump up the Game Boy's volume. Just a touch. Because to me, it sounds a little quiet. Waterside for fish. And we already have all of the materials. So I do want to head back over into the city before we make our camp. Or the burned town or village or whatever you want to call it. Because this impressive tree has rarer items. Only slightly rarer right now. Like the game said, once we have guild skills, we'll have more. And there's a few more up here. Aren't we intrepid? You're gonna be just as sick of are we intrepid? Aren't we intrepid? Fresh vegetables. Alright. Now that we've got everything in the immediate vicinity, let's head back over to the uh the camp. And I'm sure the game will introduce us to campsites. Right, we've got our ingredients, fire's nice and toasty, I think we're all set for the night. Jin, would you mind making a start on the cooking? I'll get right to it. The blade's doing the cooking? Got a problem with that? Better Jin than me, if I were in charge I'd probably end up losing a limb peeling the veggies. It's not all one-sided though, Laura has her own charm, her own talents, like making charms. That I could never do. Right, we make up for each other's strengths and weaknesses, blade or driver, no one should uh, no one has to sh shoulder all the burden. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna start making- I'm going to make a start on the trout straw loop. Shouldn't be long. It won't take long. Laura, about that battle earlier. I know, right? We were phenomenal. You're trying to do too much. Oh, what? I thought you were gonna praise me. I'm only trying to draw out your full power, Jin, you know that. That's fine, and I appreciate it. What I'm saying is, please don't put yourself at risk, Laura. We've been together a long time, haven't we, Jin? Ever since I touched your core crystal as a little girl, and we became bonded forever as Driver and Blade. Yeah. It's a bond closer than blood, I think. It's 
part of the reason why I want to help you too, see you grow and be there for you. Beautiful, Laura, but you're a driver and I'm a blade. Blades protect their drivers in a fight. It's the natural order of things. Especially since we don't need to worry about being wounded, as long as the core crystal stays intact. While well, I, on the other hand, am just human. Driver dies, their blade returns to their core. That's why you want me to be more careful, right? Exactly. Hmm, right, I get it. Well, it's not like I want to make you anxious in the middle of a fight. Okay, I promise not to overdo it. And if things start looking bad, I'll be sure to switch out for you. That would be great, thanks. Counting on you, then. You know I'd never let you down. So, there is a new fireside chat for almost every single story beat. I cannot make any promises about showing all of them, but I will definitely show as many as I can. Starting with... I guess technically continuing with, but whatever. Hey Jin, can you take care of the cooking? Sure. I think I can contrive a decent trout shralu out of the stuff we gathered. Awesome. I could really do with a proper meal right about now. It shouldn't be too long. All right. Let's get down to business. Unfortunately, we don't have the materials to make any of the charms that we currently have recipes for. But we definitely have enough materials to make one of these recipes. God damn, there's a lot of recipes that you start with. So basically, the crafting items here um, replace um, the pouch items in the base game. How sad. That village, I mean. It is. That blade, Malos. He didn't do that, did he? The towns raised by the Aegis were completely obliterated. I plan to inform the mercenaries of this. How could a person do something so awful? Anyway, you should rest now. We should be able to meet up with Hayes tomorrow. Oh, yes. I wonder if she's found any leads on Mother. I hope so, anyway. I'll prepare food, then rest up. Oh, that's kind of you. Thanks. So there are significantly more fireside chats than there are heart-to-hearts in the base game. However, there are no heart-to-hearts, period, in DLC. Quite unfortunate. Mm, that really hit the spot. You know, I really can't think of anything better than waking up to Jin's cooking. Scrumptious. You scarf that down quick. Uh, one second. Kyle, relax. He's not gonna bite you. Don't let the whole moody thing fool you. He's genuinely concerned about you. Moody thing. Look, if there's anything you need, just tell us, alright? Uh uh, I'm fine, really. Okay, I hear you. Listen, I know Jin can seem a bit scary, but he's really very gentle. You'll get used to him. I just need to clean up here, then we can move out. Probably can't be far now, can it? Where we're meeting up with Hayes? That's right. There's still a way to go, but if we keep to the road, it won't take long. Certain places out in the wild allow you to make camp. The three things you can do at the campsite are resting, crafting, and chatting. Rest uses your bonus XP to level teams up. Craft uses collectibles to make items. Chat speak with allies for advice on how to proceed. As you can see, camps are places of preparation and growth. When entering a new area, it's worth scouting out the next campsite first. Crafting is one of the actions available when camping. It expends collectibles to create pouch items as well as valuable, unique items with particular properties. As your adventure progresses, you can obtain more recipes to expand your crafting repertoire, for example by completing quests or raiding treasure troves. Pouch items can be set inside a driver's pouch to empower that driver's team for a fixed duration. You can always create more by crafting them at a campsite, 
so use them as much as you can. For instance, when preparing for a difficult battle ahead. <coughs> Excuse me, that was a mouthful. So I think I'm going to do exactly that and grab a couple of things. Particularly enough stuff to make another um, straw loop. Ooh, fortitude. So, um... <laughs> funny story about these pouch items, these, uh, craftables. Most of them are only available in the DLC. However, the common blades that you can pull in the base game, their favorite pouch items and favorite I item types are completely randomized. That means that they can randomly select a Torna only item as their favorite pouch item. Oof. <laughs> I don't know if that's ever been patched either. And here's our tutorial on treasure troves. Ah, looks like you found a treasure trove. You'll discover troves of many shapes and sizes as you journey across all rest. Blades, uh, some of them might be locked, so you might need field skills. This one should be good to go. You're coming with me, treasure. This is becoming addictive. Okay. Well, let's head on up along this road. This is becoming addictive. Lily of the Sunny Valley, that is quite the item name. As you probably noticed, the bridge ahead is out. It's an obstacle, but not an insurmountable one. Use a blade's field skill. Using a blade's field skill might provide a solution. Check out that wither tree up ahead and witness Jin's field skill at work. If you want more info, go ahead and check your menus. And I'll do exactly that. So Laura has an affinity chart down here, which I don't think we have. Yeah, I'll take that extra agility for now. Improved. Accessories. You also have a weapon slot, which we do have a weapon. Which currently grants Laura the fire elements. We have a rigid vest, which for early games, pretty good. We'll increase our max HP by 300. And then our pouches. We have the trout straw You knew I'd like this, didn't you? Jin, on the other hand, that can equip courtships as his affinity chart, which I'm going to check to make sure I have the fortitude. To fight another day. You collected ten things, or things ten times, sorry. And I didn't really show this much in base game, but it is nice to see. Um, when you need to progress the story to be able to complete a node on the affinity chart, its condition is just listed as question marks. I don't know if I ever talked about that, but it is consistent between both games. And then aux cores, which we have none of right now. Additionally, both of them can enhance their arts. Uh, the They both have uh, vanguard arts and rearguard arts. Generally, the Vanguard Arts are more important, so I'm definitely going to immediately boost this, this uh, break art on Laura. And then for Jin, I'm going to go and see which one... Um... Mm. I'll increase chill. Oh, I can increase you. both by to level 2, so yeah, I'll do that then. Alright, and then you can see their team stats and their XP remaining. Additionally, you could switch here which one is in the lead. Which will come into more play when we have more teams. Because I'm sure you could guess we're going to have three team members. We have a quest log, which you can't do anything yet with yet. And I don't remember... oh. Right. We'll deal with that question marked, um... We'll deal with that later. With all my might. J 
can cut down the tree so now we can walk. However, I do want to grab the items this here. Is becoming addictive. Yes, it is. There's a treasure trove down there. You're coming with me, treasure. Hey Ben, how's it going? Bang chip, we actually can inc we can actually improve Jin's thing with core chip now. But I think I might. In fact, I think I will. Oh my god. 19 to 31 crit rate. Fuck yes. Wildflower Nodachi. Cotton branch. We made it. Welcome to the Harrod Hills. Doesn't seem so bad. Try targeting all sorts of enemies. You'll occasionally encounter ones whose target icon looks different from that of normal enemies. We call those unique monsters, and they're a bit special. Unique monsters are much tougher than the regular kind. Even the strongest drivers in Allrest often have troubles with them. So if you take down a unique monster, you'll surely earn the respect of people all over Allrest. That said, they're not a challenge for the faint-hearted. You'll want to make sure you're prepared if you plan on surviving the powerful attacks they often wield. If you defeat a unique monster, a tombstone will remain at the site where it fell, in memory of its legendary life. Some even say that if you press A on the tombstone, the monster will rise from its grave to reclaim its former glory! This is becoming addictive. <sighs> so, this level- oh my god, that's level 23. Never mind, we're not fighting that now. A lot of these things really am severely underprepared for. Including this thing. But we're gonna try! There's a difference between being avoidant and being an idiot. I know I'm severely outmatched by a level 23 when I am level 4. That's disgusting. God, I cannot for the life of me. Come on, Jin. Damn it, Jin. Key affinity reward two. And a new art, Star Slash. And a new rearguard art. And a new vanguard art for Laura. Spinning wheel. Vanguards, let alone ones for your car. <sighs> Aren't we intrepid? These guys should be no problem. I won't enjoy this. So, on my very first playthrough, I started my playthrough with um, of any visits. I died a few times. Overconfidence leads to carelessness. But that's what So I'm doing a little bit better job now because I know I can. Uh, with just wandering around, checking out things, seeing what I can do before I focus on the main story. This is becoming addictive. Hmm. 
ancient mineral deposit. Because Jin is apparently an expert in mineralogy. Bet you didn't know that from base game. Excuse you. Camera, what are you doing? I guess... I guess this, uh, Bulletproof, Lufo, wants a piece of us too. Oh, I failed the break. Interesting. I want to point out, look how big, yes he did just slam a boulder on me, look how big the roman numeral for the, um, the specials are, not that you can see it now that I used it, um, the roman numerals were made so much bigger in the DLC compared to the base game, it's a little ridiculous. But yeah, the boulder slam is just a move that, uh, Bolupos can do. This is becoming I agree, it's kind of ridiculous. They want you to see it. If that were the case, why didn't they patch that into the base game? Coming with me, treasure. Ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, um, like I mentioned before, the, uh, the common blades can pick up pouch items meant for Torna, and the reason people discovered this is because as they added stuff in, they added stuff in over time via updates. Dawning Slate Piece. Um, they added stuff in over time via updates, and so over time people were coming back to the game and, and pulling new blades, this, that, the other. And they, um, they found stuff that were not translated. Turns out those not translated items were stuff for the DLC. Uh, kind of ridiculous. These guys should be no I won't enjoy this. What if you didn't pay for the DLC? They could still potentially show up. Because you would still be downloading the updates to make sure you have the most up-to-date version of the game. Most of the- most people would. Look, I don't want to fight you, you stupid bird. Alright, fine, I guess you hear that, assistant. God damn. Common blades are useless. Yeah, no, yes, kind of, sort of. The higher tier ones are, are decent, and you can play through the entirety of the base game using exclusively uh, common blades. But, um. It's, uh. 
the, the rare blades are generally better. Really? You are aggroable? Rude. Looks like Hayes isn't here yet. What the? This is... this should be the village of Feltley. It's almost like glass. Rumor among the mercs says that's a hallmark of the Aegis. But why would he do this? Look out! Jin! It's nothing. Let's go. And this is the thing that killed me multiple times. <laughs> Level 8, a gargoyle. Dark elements. Where is Jin? There's Jin. It is an artifice of the Aegis, much like Siren. Yeah, you can see right here, the Roman numeral is a lot bigger. And I'm gonna finish him in style. It's no normal monster. Not an Ardanian Titan weapon either. Maybe it's Malice's. Get down, you two! <sighs> That was a close one. Looks like Malos's artifices are still roaming around. So it was. Hey. Wait a minute. Emblem of Torna. You are Jin, right? Wow, I can't believe it. I came all the way out here, and who do I say but the paragon of Torna and his driver? <laughs> You're so young. That core crystal was stolen 17 years ago. Quite a feat to pull off that heist at that age. Are you going to arrest us? Execute us? I don't know yet. I did just save you after all. Oh, 
How magnanimous. Laura, there's no point in talking. Have it your way. Some things never change. Shockingly, after the gargoyle proceeded to kick my ass 7,000 times, I didn't die to this boss fight. I don't get it. Now wait just a minute, she says. Incredible! You! Both of you! Huh? <laughs> that last attack, the force behind it was absurd. I'm amazed! Oh, uh, really? Well, that's just... <laughs> oh, and passing the weapon. What a concept! How did you ever come up with that idea? Oh, well... We were broke. Uh huh? We couldn't afford meals, let alone another sword. And so we made do. <laughs> Their fucking reaction. <laughs> it's better every time I see it. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> oh man, you guys are the best. I haven't laughed this hard in ages. Huh? I really, really like you two. Uh... Master Adam! Sir! Milton! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Master Adam, are you hurt at all? Master Adam? You can't be THE Adam Origo. The Lord of a letter. And fourth in line to the throne of Torna. Oh, come on, Milton. I've been with him the whole time. You really think these two would cause any harm? You've been using your dumb artifice again, haven't you? Dumb? So yeah, sure, nothing to worry about, right? <laughs> Milton? Who's this then? Ah, this is Hayes. She rescued me from the jaws of some nasty monsters. Well, I'd better give her my thanks. Hayes! Oh, was she with you? I'm sorry to keep you waiting, my lady.
What's worse, side ears or back ears? I see. So that's when. What a sad, sad tale, Nora. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Don't let it get cold now. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. He's not. So then, how come you've enlisted with a band of mercenaries? I guess I like the freedom. This way I'm not tied down. So I can help out. With causes I really believe in, you know? Going's tough everywhere you look these days, right? Can't ignore it, can I? I understand. A fat load of good that'll do, in the long run. The world keeps turning anyway. You might think that. But mercenaries and statesmen each have their own views and ways to affect change. It's not in vain. <laughs> A blade siding with humans. You don't see that every day. I think it's blades like you that are rare. Well, duh. You do know what I am, right? Lacking in compassion. Shots fired. Huh? Blades like you really are a rare sight. That may be for the best. <laughs> <sighs> So, about I suppose you have to take him away from me. I could try to slay you right here. But? But my mission is to stop the Aegis's destruction. To subdue Malos, not to seek out lost trinkets. Who cares about paragons anyway? Huh? How about you two join up? Lend us your strength. You're incredibly powerful. There's loads I want to pick up from you, like that trick from before. Let's see. We'll say I found the paragon on my journey and decided to entrust him to you. To help with Malos. Well, sound plausible? That's just... dare he speak to me like that? He thinks he knows me. Course is the word. Yeah, he is. I meant you. That's fired. Me? He you meant you're unpolished. After you return to your core, you lose your memories. However, as you gain experience with people, gradually the nature of a blade Rather, their feelings. They change and grow. You become more and more human. But you purposely keep yourself apart. Oh, so now it's my fault? No, not at all. I respect that part of you. Um. <laughs> Hey, are you angry about this whole Malos thing? I'm not. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Be sure of it. We cannot simply ignore what's happening in the world. But... But what?
Please say you'll be careful. <laughs> I will. If you're referring to Adam, Adam is about 1.8 meters tall. Um, your highness? Just Adam is fine. What is it? The going off to Malos thing. Could it wait a few days? Oh, is there something you need to do first? I... Well, a little under six yes. feet. You see, Lady Laura seeks the whereabouts of her mother. Unfortunately, she has her mercenary duties to perform. Therefore, I often go out and conduct these searches myself. I see. Then you found her? Yes. With all that happened yesterday, I did not have the opportunity to say... My lady, your mother is currently residing in a small hamlet called Torigoth. Torigoth. That's on the edge of Gormot. Ardanian and Sian forces clash out there frequently. It's very dangerous. Indeed. Right. No time to waste. Let us head out there. What? But what about your mission? You don't want to see your mother? Uh, of course, but... Then let's go! Malos hasn't hit that part of the world yet. It's as good a place as any to look. You're hoping we might find him there? Exactly. That sounds too easy. We go to the village of Torogoth to find Malos. And you go to Torogoth to find your mother. Everybody wins. And once I found my mother, I join up with you? Hmm. That's the general idea. I'll send my people to notify your mercenary friends. And perhaps we could find a place for your mother in the capital. It should be safe there. Is this normal princely behavior? Well, if you think this is bad, just stick around for a bit. Nobody's, like, making you come along, you know. Well, unfortunately, a driver and blade are one in body and soul. As if you don't do whatever you feel like anyway. I know this is all very sudden. Still, we don't know where we'll run into Malos next. It makes sense to stick together, as much as we can. Isn't that... No mistake in it. That's the blade. And that little brat, too. Fist. Yeah, the whole village was wiped out. Found myself some great cool crystals, eh? And I found something else too, something real interesting. Time to take care of this, okay? I'll be in touch. Ha! Fate's a funny thing. Never thought I'd get to take back that paragon. What I stole in the first place. 
really nice to have some more company around here. Really makes fighting a breeze, too. Well, look, yeah, what did you expect? The monsters around here don't stand a chance against me. Your powers are on a truly different level, true. But that's not what the Laura was trying to say, Aegis. Laura doesn't think of blades as mere tools for the drivers. To her, they're partners in arms. Am I right? Exactly. When I said we had more company, I was talking about all three of you. I don't care whether you're a blade or a driver. I'm just happy that we get to share our time together. Okay, then. That's a pretty weird way of thinking, if you ask me. I think so. Um, should we perhaps be on our way to Yenchik Harbor now? We keep up. If we keep to the road, it should take us straight there. The regular boat from Yanchik is. The regular boat. Oh. The regular boat from Yanchik to Gormont, is it? As far as I know, it's still running, but we should probably hurry all the same. So, before we go, we now have Adam in our team. As well as Milton in our guests as well. Now that Ra Hayes has rejoined your party, you'll be able to blade switch. When a team contains two blades, performing a blade switch while exploring or in battle lets you select which of the blades will participate in the action. You can perform a blade switch by pressing left on the d-pad. In battle, the technique comes with a cooldown timer, so you won't be able to use it in quick succession. By combining vanguard switching and blade switching, you can choose battle participants to suit your playstyle, or as the situation requires. Once again, I want to head into where the cutscene was. Talk to the Nameless Wander Pawn. Me is Nameless Wanderer. Travel through high and dry, and low and wet, and cold and also warm places. Life of Traveler is a lonely one, so is much relief when there is chance of talk with other pawn. Such relief talking to friends must reward somehow. Here, take this elk score me found lying in nearby lake. It's just fancy paperweight for non-driver, so not much use keeping. Happy to give away. Me think it should be just right for Blade who really into smashing and brawling. Master Melee Mithra exists within the DLC as well. There was a chat. If you die to the gargoyle. I didn't realize this. Lady Laura, your mother is safe and sound at Torigoth Village. That's at the Gormadi border, I believe. That's right. We can make our way via the ferry from Yanchik Harbor. Then I guess we head out to... S uh, I guess we need to stop chewing the fat and head out to Gormat. Is that the only one? Yes. Let's see what we can craft. We now have uh, access to talismans. Stitch by well, at least stitch. the recipes for them. We don't have and the materials now. just yet. Uh, replica artifacts, which again, we only have the recipes, not enough materials. And creative cuisine. Time to get cooking. I'm excited. And we can actually craft one of those. It recharges arts by 0.1 each second. I'm actually going to make well, one of those. Spice, right? so this should be delicious. And do you have... Anything that recharges? You do, but I don't have the materials. Wouldn't smash any of the guy blades, unfortunately. And by smash, you mean super smash. Fire take off from shoes and. Let's go I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that, Jordan. Nobody has access to leveling up, unfortunately. But would you smash Zeke or Adam? I actually probably want to um, play as Adam, or Team Adam, rather. So, you see, a new thing was added to the battle palette. We now have access to ta- oh my god, I need to switch. We need- we now have access to talent arts. Each character has their own talent art. Even our healing blade, Hayes.
I'm just going to um, let's go over to Team Adam. Oh, I'm sorry. How do I? Oh, you can press R to blade switch, depending on which blade you want to open with. Vanguard switch is still Y. I am trying to remember how to. Um, Or maybe it doesn't let us yet. I'm going to say it probably doesn't let us yet, because I'm not seeing the option. 99% of the time, it's in the options. Anyway, let's check our affinity chart. What do we have? 407. Let's, um... Increase Adam's strength. As well as his HP. More to add to my repertoire. Excellent. Laura now has a little bit more. I don't know if it's enough to... It's almost enough to get that. But yeah, I think I'll grab that in a few battles. Uh, Hayes has an, obviously has an affinity chart. We'll get to her in a minute. Mithra has an affinity chart, which is, um, very neat. But, you can see her third field skill can't be activated until max, uh, max trust. We'll get to that at a later date. Now, we have Foresight, Lightspeed Flurry, and Glint. Same things as, uh, base game. But she has different specials. We'll go over those in a bit. Um, I guess I'll put, I don't want to, but I guess I'll put Massive Melee Mithra on her. She has two Oxcore slots, huh? Sure, you can have Blowdown Resist. And I don't have anything better, so Jin can have that. Gonna grab this real quick. And we're gonna head on. What's this? It's some kind of weird mist. Water and water and water, 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 and must water, be a water, 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 and water, and water, water, water. We should do something about this before it ends up blocking the way to the harbor. Water, 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 This wasn't here when I passed through before. It does seem to have sprung up fairly recently. Father, this is the only way through the harbor where the ship departs. There are monsters too. Maybe the miasma attracted them somehow? Indeed, we should handle this before more of them show up. Just let me at the, that miasma. I'll blast it into next week. Yes, and everything in a quarter mile radius while you're at it. What's the problem? Miasma is in the way. Mithra burns miasma. Miasma no longer in the way. Done. Mithra, the power you wield is undeniable. But all it takes is the slightest misjudgment, and we end up being no better than Malos. Um, sorry to interrupt, but I think Hayes' power should be able to disperse it too? Oh really, that would be very handy. Yes, I just need a moment of concentration. Do you think you could take care of the monsters for me? Say no more. Mithra, you're up. Seems like a ridiculously overcomplicated way to deal with things, but the driver's wish is my command. That'll do. Let's go. What bars the way? Received. Ugh, we're such sap. Uh, pink is main story. Blue question mark is the start of a uh, side quest. Blue exclamation is progression of side quest. Uh, each party member has a talent art. Press right on the D-pad to use it. Visit the enhance art menus to read about them. They have very powerful effects, but can come with significant downsides. Be sure to consider when and how to use them. I somewhat already went over that. For instance, Laura's here. Swallow's Plate. 
halves our HP, but gives us recovery. Attack healing, attacking, healing your team, and other actions uh, which your foes consider undesirable make the characters perform them accrue a value called aggro. Uh, it is based on each team. Attack the team with they will attack the team with the highest aggro. Don't get targeted. Raining in attacks for a time is a useful technique. They died before I could even switch to Jin. Well done. Now it's Hayes' time to shine. Not so fast. There's more. We can't do our thing until they're all dealt with. Ugh, well that's lame. Lame it may be, but we can't give up now. Look, all I'm gonna say is that Paul Thornley does a really good job as, um, as Adam. Are we good? Are we- are we good? Are we... done? Yet, seems like it. Hayes, if you would. Right away. Titans, the great continents of Allrest, are living beings, and one of the waste products they generate manifests as ether miasma. Ether miasma tends to attract monsters, so removing it isn't the safest of occupations. It is, however, rewarding. Doing so unlocks a new collection point each time. Clearing away the miasma requires the right field skills. These can be acquired and improved by unlocking the right nodes on Blade's affinity charts. We should have enough to do this tutorial one. I would hope. The ether miasma's gone. Look over there. There's so much ether around here. We're bound to find some nice stuff if we look around. Ah, so the abundance of ether must have been what made the miasma form in the first place. Indeed! Well, if we run into any more miasmas, I trust you'll do the honors, Hayes. Of course, leave it to me. I'm so glad you're with us. Otherwise, I'd be forced to rely on that loose cannon Mithra, right? No, that's not what I meant. You've always been my only blade, so you don't have any experience of working together with other blades. That's my fault. But I'm sure that by traveling with Hayes and Jin, you'll learn a lot about your own power. That's a good thing, right? Way to lay expectations on me. I'll give this cooperation thing a go, but I'm not making any promises about learning anything from it. What bars the way? Complete! I'm just happy the Aether Miasma was dispersed, dispersed thanks to Hayes' powers. Future Miasmas should prove no problem either. And with that... We have the Miasma Residue Collection Point here. New tips have been added. I want veggies. This is becoming addictive. It's great. I really love Adam. He's great. Oh hey, our first quest. Gardener's son came. Time? Came. I'm not sure. Hey, are you drivers? Then you've come just in time. You passed that bridge coming here, right? I was headed for the Harad Hills that lie beyond, but then... Well, some monsters came and settled there, and now I've got a problem. Please, would you defeat them for me? Dunes are the only place where you can find sand of that color and composition. If I don't make the delivery in time, my father will surely get physical. Uh, the less said of that, the better. I hope you deal with them soon. I'll be waiting at the Feltley Village campsite. Well, that was sudden. Are we going to do anything about it? Personally, I do feel that ensuring Laura's happy reunion with her mother is our top priority, of course. But abandoning a person in need doesn't quite sit well with me, either. If we extend a helping hand, we may receive assistance in return somewhere down the line. Yeah. It really is a conundrum. It's your choice, Laura. Yeah, we're with you, whatever you decide. Thanks, guys. Let me think a while. A simple errand. Received. Don't you worry. We'll get a hold on that right now. 
goodwill Laura and her friends create is known as community. The foundation of community. It's talking to the many and various inhabitants of Alrest. Speak to a person and you'll learn their name, job, and location. You can always check this information by going to the community menu found in the main menu. Talk to everyone you can and expand your community. Resolve an issue that a person listed in the community menu is struggling with, and they'll give you a token of their support with you for you. Collect a lot in your community. We'll grow stronger. Racing water and water and water, water level will cause more quests water, to become available. Water, 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 comes around, goes around. Water, 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 and water, and water, 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 and water, and water, 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 and water, and water, water, and water, and water, and water, 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 on skip community registration in main menu system options game settings this option is recommended for people who want to build community quickly I hate community also hi Patrick so they are opened they are opened it opens the menu and we can technically start viewing their things New tips have been added. I will take one second and then go open the community menu. Details on. Came. Yantric Harbor. Quests. A simple errand. Probably get more info after we do the quest. So let's go take care of that right now. Exit the crop wards of Yorn and Torna and head towards the bridge. I'm gonna grab this collection point real quick. This is becoming addictive. And then we can actually just warp closer to it. Whoosh. Well, shall we continue? This is becoming addictive. Okay. So these right here are the, 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 these are the guys that we need to fight. Guys who settled at the bridge that the guy needed to pass. See now, they're doing a grand job of blocking the way, aren't they? Some people just don't know when to cut their losses and quit, I guess. That's funny coming from you. I'm starting to feel for the monsters. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Lady Laura, should we intervene? Nah, we're just each saying what they're thinking, and that's no easy thing. Sure, they might butt heads sometimes, but that doesn't mean they'll kill each other, right? Who the hell do you think you are? Good line. Why don't you look in a mirror and ask yourself that? Ugh, I hate this guy's guts. Ah, friendly banter between comrades is music to my ears. I'm sure that together we can go far. <laughs> Looks like they want to join the party. In that case, why don't we give them a warm welcome? Uh -oh. I think we've been so I think the AI is programmed to always target what you're targeting because there is no way to change their target, I think. Although there is. It's just harder to find. So you can focus on... What I'm assuming is driver combos with the left, blade combos on the right, and then I don't know what the bottom is supposed to be. Getting the collector's edition. That's all. Aren't we intrepid? I feel like it's not worth it, though. That's. I mean, you could do what you want with your money, but I feel like it's not worth getting the collector's edition of that. Just because it's already seventy dollars, 
and then the collector's edition is like double that as opposed to like the usual 60 bucks to 90 bucks that collector's editions are at launch. campsite and go tell Kaim that the uh, bridge is open. Yeah, where is the campsite? I always forget. Treasure trove! Always, always go explore where the cutscenes were, because you will always find stuff. Stuff. There we go. What can you say, your links? Green barrel! Red pollen orbs. What is with this fucking game right now? I'm getting shit from treasure trove stuck in me, things. Treasure. You're coming with me, treasure. More red pollen orbs. He has abs and twilight princess. Who? Link or Ganon? Crimson sleep. Oh, that's right. You do get to see his abs when they do do the sumo wrestling, right? I forgot. Anyway, there's Kaim. Well, let's give him the good news. Oh, you got rid of them. Travers sure have some skills. Thanks a bunch. Simple manual labor, my ass. Nothing simple about this, you codger. Uh, still, I've got to hurry up. I don't want to... What is Hayes doing? Hayes, are you okay? Uh, so, I've gotta hurry if I wanna be fed a knuckle sandwich. Here, I've not got much to offer, but take this with my thanks. We work as gardeners in the capital with my dad and me. If you're ever in the area, come say hi. Righto then. How much sand did he say we needed again? I'll remember along the way, I'm sure. Community gained. She's still playing one, she's 100%ing one, and then 100%ing two, and then playing Torna, and then playing Future Connected, and then playing base game three. She is playing Release Order, I am not allowing her to not. Well, she already started Future Connected, in which case, goddammit, Kim. That was not the plan. Man, those monsters were a pain. Thanks for clearing the way for me. Dad and I worked in the Capitol's gardens, so stop by if you're ever in the area. Community. Level up. We now have community. Level 1. We have one supporter, and we need 15 for the next level. A simple errand. Complete. Future Connected is the epilogue that was added in Definitive Edition. With the monsters out of the way, Kaim has set off to gather the sand he was sent out for. It's basically DLC for one, yeah. Alright, so... Not that. Affinity chart, because Hayes got a key affinity. Our knowledge is power. And level 1 forestry. Mithra has now gotten Looks a key like affinity reward. As did Jin. You can rely as well as his third skill, Mind's Eye. Increases crit damage by 20%. You still have to get books and unique monsters. <laughs> yeah, there's still a lot to do in, in one, even after you've beaten the game. I'm going to put that Affinity Max Attack one here on Jin, And I guess you can have the... God, Hayes has three core... or, uh, aux core slots. Damn. How does she have more than Jin? That's wild. So if we go to Enhance Arts, everybody now has their talent art. When character has recoverable HP, you could r consume it to boost attack, accuracy, evasion, and speed for 30 seconds. Good shit. Uh, Hayes has some... Definitely gonna level that up. 
Uh, what do I want to use it on the other one? I guess that I'll can work for now. Mithra has 713, so we're going to use Ray of Punishment. No is hurting my friends. Photon Edge. And we do have enough for all three, so Lightning Buster no could get leveled up too. My also, if you notice, all of her Vanguard arts are her specials in the base game. I mean, she has different specials here. You can level up your rearguard arts. Again, they're not as important. I will level up this Star Slash. Is for you. Uh, do 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 do. Sure, I'll take spinning wheel. You definitely way. need this, and especially this. this one's second nature to me now. I guess because when I have extra, I can it. go Get that now too. Adam uses a sword by default, and it is a uh, electric element weapon, much like Laura's fire whip. I definitely want Jin up front. So now we have a uh, fire, ice, wind, light, and electric. Community. I didn't read it. At first, open list. Kaim. Man, but those monsters were a pain. Thanks for clearing the way for me. Oh, I did. I did read that. I'm stupid. Okay. This is Veggies. Alright, let's head back to that harbor so we can start um making our way to Gorma. party yet, so we can't even do all of the blade combos yet. In fact, I don't think the game lets us place or, or place the blade combos yet. Starters. Good stuff. Here we are. Yanji Carver, isn't it? That's correct. I requested that they wait specially for Lady Laura before they depart. Oh, nice one. Good thinking, Hayes. Looks like getting our ride to Gormat will be no trouble at all. Come on, let's go and have a chat with the captain. The two main ways of making your entire team stronger are leveling up and using pouch items. Uh, leveling up. When you earn enough XP, you'll level up, increasing your team's stats. Pouch items. Add a pouch item to the driver's pouch to empower the team with a certain buff for a fixed duration. There are three ways to make a driver stronger. You can either improve the actual character in one of two ways, or improve their equipment. Uh, Enhanced Arts uses WP earned in battle, Affinity Chart uses SP earned in battle, and Driver Equipment, you can equip accessories you own. Open slot accessories come from defeated foes. There are four ways to make a blade stronger. You can improve the actual character uh, in one of two ways, or improve their equipment in one of two ways. Enhanced Arts uses WP earned in battle, Affinity Chart, complete required tasks, weapon modifications, use courtships, mostly found as treasure, and use aux cores. Equip them, mostly dropped by foes. When you get an affinity reward for fulfilling a condition on the blade's affinity chart, you'll get a pop-up notification. The affinity reward itself won't be unlocked at this point though, so you won't notice any difference just yet. You have to be sure to check the unlocked ability in the menu, which is still really fucking dumb. And I don't know why they kept it in the DLC when people hated it in the base, base game. Anyway. I already did all that, so I don't need to do it again. I am going to ignore these quests for the time. I'm going to grab this rusty slate piece. And that is a cave. I don't know what's in that cave. I don't remember. But I am going to grab these green barrels and scatter it all over. You're coming with me, Treasure. The suspense is killing me. Try to figure out how to get to the, that um red like this. 
Alright, Treasure Trove, what do you got for me? Just some money, it looks like. Oh no, a bonnet choker. Ooh. I do want to double check the accessories. Everybody has two accessory slots. Auto attack damage by 20%. Bonnet choker. Luck by 20. Luck does help with breaks, so. Um. Bu -bu -bu. I guess you can have the attack zone. You, I want to give the rigid vest, and I want to give the leather gloves for now. Can I switch to play as them yet? No? How do I do? When do I do? How about that? I guess not yet. Oh well. For now, let's head right on to Gormot. So, you're finally here, eh? I've been waiting for you. You going to Gormot or not? Yeah, I'm coming. Hop on. I only just became a Titan Ship Captain's Apprentice, so it might be a bumpy ride. Try not to hurl or nothing. Sure, the blades will be alright, but... Well... I don't believe so. Actually, there is for Torna, but I don't think anything else has. Welcome to Gormot. I will point this out now. I prefer this version of the Gormot music. Lady Laura, welcome to La Sham Cove. So, this is Gormot, huh? It's so pretty. I think the grass really is greener on the other side. It is kind of a dream destination, isn't it? That's exactly why everyone's trying to claim it for themselves, ruining it for everyone else. Still, it's not like there was anywhere else to turn to. This is practically the only place where Lady Laura's mother could feel secure these days. I look so glum, Hayes. If it weren't for you, I'd never have found out my mother fled here. Can't thank you enough for that. Yes, I suppose. Come on, let's get to Torigoth. I can't wait to see Mother again. Okay, let's just head along the road. It'll take us straight there. Just remember, this is uncharted territory for us. Try not to... Never mind. It's not like I need to tell you any of that. Yes, I dare say we've all learned to exercise caution by this point. Let's not dally, then. Onwards. Good. Excuse the fuck out of you. I was listening to that.
want to tell it now? Yeah, it's a real spine tinker. Granddad once told me. Kept me up at night for days. <sighs> no, please keep it to yourself. <laughs> this is becoming addictive. I did raise it earlier and asked, hey, is this okay? Nobody said anything. So I figured, oh, this is probably fine then. This is becoming addictive. We made it. Good stuff. Doesn't seem. I wonder what kind of place Torgoth is. You'll be re reunited with your mother soon, Lady Laura. I know, I can't wait. Gormod is a real sight to behold. But that beauty can harbor many perils. It's home to plenty of monsters. You keep your wits about you, Hayes. I know, protecting Lady Laura is my duty. I never forget that, not for a moment. Hey, I've got her covered. <laughs> I'm sure you two will be able to keep me safe somehow. Now, let me see. Got a new recipe. Still not enough materials to make it, though. Damn it, Adam, you're holding us back. I can still improve. I have to. I love that they still use this little jingle for resting. It's great. You two have blades. Be sure to switch between them regularly. It really opens up your options in battle. You're coming with me, treasure. That's a lot of red pollen orbs. Aren't we intrepid? Really like how your Twitter profile. I thought you weren't using Twitter. Why are you looking at your Twitter profile? This is becoming addictive. Aren't we intrepid? <laughs> we made it. Good stuff. Welcome to Toriga. Seem so bad. Here too. Gormot's an attractive target, but this. Whoever did this clearly had no compassion or respect for the people they killed. Well, whether it was Malos or someone else, either way, clearly they're all toast. Mithra. <laughs> Laura. It's... it's okay. Mother could have run away somewhere safe. You want to know the absolutely crazy thing?
the song that's playing right now, this is only one of two places that it plays. it is absolutely the only song that would fit for this. It's all right. You can't rush these things. Look, fresh graves over here. This kind soul must have dug them all. <laughs> What's wrong? Should... Should we maybe bury him too? Huh? Yes, let's. This flower myself. She kept all this time. Thank you, Jin. All right now, really. Are you sure? If you're trying to put on a brave face, then it's fine. It's fine. Hey guys, do you think we could go back to the village again? Did you notice something? No, nothing like that. I was just thinking maybe we could bring back something to offer to the rest of the graves, besides mothers. Where are... We're all burned to ashes. Is there really any point? Really? We didn't find anything last time. Alright, we can all look together. It helps give you closure.
I put the music that's playing right now into the music channel on Discord. It is called The Abandoned City. I'm something of an expert. Surround them. Huh? Ardanian troops. Imperial Guard. Thieving scum. Don't think you're gonna get away with your dirty deeds. What? No! We just... Problem, Captain? Funny you should mention Morag. Lady Bridget. The brigands. Same ones who attacked the village, perhaps. Drivers and blades. Mercenaries? So that's Bridget. Captain, I shall deal with these individuals. Emperor Hugo must be briefed. Yes, ma'am. You lot, stay here and assist the Lady Bridget. Again, some things never change. So the place where that music was playing, uh, the abandoned city plays in Elysium. It's the destroyed city that you find inside the the uh, desertified area. Hey, we can finally use blade combos. Hitting an enemy with a special begins a blade combo. Blade combo consists of three stages, and finishing it requires you to move them through them in order. The first, second, and third stages require you to hit an enemy with a special that's at least level 1, 2, and 3 respectively to link them up. Unfortunately, they do something here. They change it a little. You can also link up with other team specials. They will do a combo request, which will appear on screen. You can give them the order. Think carefully. All the way to stage 3 of any element. As long as you keep to the level requirements, there are some fixed routes. These critical routes number 16 in total, and they're composed of a particular sequence of elements. For example, one such route is Fire, Fire, Light. A finished critical route will trigger a special animation and cause extra damage. Be on the lookout for this, for the other 15 special elements. So basically, if it's a combo in the base game, then it becomes a combo, uh, one of the critical routes here. But you don't necessarily need to do the, uh, the full combo route anymore to get some good effects, and especially to get orbs on. Mithra, why are you dead? Get the fuck up. Did all of the other guys die just to AoE? That's funny. An incredible feeling. <sighs> I need to wrap this up before Lord Hugo arrives.
cheap trick. Keep going like that, you'll get a reputation. Cheap, you say? Don't be absurd. It's called tactics, look it up. But perhaps that's something a simpleton like yourself could never hope to comprehend. That's right. A simpleton? Your attacks scream it. Clumsy, heavy, no refinement. Shots fired. I was gonna go easy on you, but now, now you have pissed me off. <laughs> Mithra, stop! We've got children here. What was that? If that had actually hit me. Oh, <laughs> didn't like that, did you? <laughs> I can see it on your face. Well. On that note... Mistra! Haste! Understood. What? How? Is this... you? What the hell? She's our... enemy! Adam plainly ordered you to stop. Or didn't you hear him, simpleton? God. How extraordinary. I'd heard of a blade with the power to restrain others, but I never thought... And did she say Adam? It can't be. All of you, lay down your arms. There is no need for this. I agree. Hello. It's good to see you again, Prince Adam. Please forgive the actions of my guards. Don't you worry about it. I am just glad to see you well, Your Imperial Majesty. Imperial Majesty? May I introduce? The Emperor of Mor Ardain, Hugo Ardenach. The Ardanian Emperor? What's someone of his station doing out here? You know, our stations are fairly similar. Not that you'd ever know. Thanks, I try. <laughs> it's not I've come from the Aegis. Its actions have been felt in Mor Ardain as well. We're currently chasing it down. The same as us, then. But coming here yourself. My brother is ruling in my absence. I see. And so you brought Bridget and Aegean. Huh? Mm -hmm. Those two are the crown jewels of the Ardanian forces. Wielding them on the front lines is the duty of he who has the throne. Indeed. That ought to have been my older brother. But he didn't have the potential to become a driver. And now, here you are, bonded with both of them. The Special Inquisitor is under my brother's direct command. Oh. Should I fall in battle, he has his orders to retrieve the core crystals. That sounds cold. That's how it goes with matters of state. And yet, it works out well for me. I have always wanted to put myself on the line for our people. And I never enjoyed wielding authority in the first place. 
I feel the same way. I don't get why anyone would want to sit on a throne. Yes, that. If Prince Zetar knew, there would be consequences. Let's pretend you didn't hear me say that. You two will never see eye to eye. Better to leave well enough alone. Ruling is, frankly, it's a scary thought. Just imagine becoming someone you don't recognize. Never knowing who's looking back at you in the mirror. Prince Adam, I'd be happy if you called me Hugo, like old times. I will, dear Hugo, but only if you call me Adam in return. Well, it would be beneficial to share our findings, but perhaps elsewhere might be better? How about your Majesty's flagship? Indeed. Flagship. Is something the matter, Lady Laura? I I'm just not very good in that kind of stuffy environment. That's a mood. Oh, you're not alone there. That's the worst. Right? I think I'll sit this particular venture out. Yeah, I'm out too. You don't get a choice. Oh, no, you don't. Wait a minute. Is that her? Yes, this is Mithra, one of the Aegises. <sighs> Your account would be valuable as well, Laura. Everything I've seen or heard, Jin will know as well. Uh, uh, yes, that's true. Please, would you go instead of me, please? Of course. I will do as you wish. Thank he you doesn't want to either. <laughs> Well then, shall we? Well then, my friends, shall we make a move? Your Majesty, may not be my position to say, but would it not be wise to first investigate the location we spoke of? Ah, yes, you do raise a valid point. Gian, please consider... Please consider His Majesty's feelings. He wishes for quality time to spend with his dear friend, Prince Adam. I'm honored that you value me so highly. But I think this is a decision best left to Hugo. What do you say? Would that be getting in the way of your mission? No, no, not in the slightest. In fact, I believe you are just as much involved in this whole affair as us. What with your traveling alongside the Aegis, that much is clear. So, this mission of yours has something to do with Malos. Exactly so. Aegeon, would you? Of course. By official decree, allow me to formally disclose to you the nature of our mission. On the surface, we have traveled here to work on diffusing diplomatic tensions between the Empire and Sia. But at the same time, there is another matter we are discussing. And that, I presume, is Malos. So what are you going to do? Take him down? Capture him? At the present time, neither. It is His Majesty's wish to ascertain the intent of this Malos, and indeed anyone who wishes our Empire harm. Then I assume new intelligence has come to light. The fourth decade reported in just as you were on your way to Torogoth. They discovered an area of land that had been scorched black by some colossal power. I don't think Adam's going to want to ignore that one. You read my mind. Hugo, as much as I'd enjoy reminiscing out on the Cloud Sea, I'd quite like to enjoy some more of the scenery first. Of course. If you'd like, we could take a side trip before we return to the ship. Laura, is this wise? I still want to decorate the grave, so I'll wait for you in the village. Everything will be fine. Hayes is with me, after all. That's right. Please, take as much time as you need. Alright. Maybe it's for the best that she doesn't get to see the extent of Malice's devastation. So you say the fourth decade found traces of Malice's destruction. And where would- and that would be where? <sighs> it would appear to be at Valafum Hill, heading inland from Ordia Great Plains. But I'm afraid I've received no further information. We have no recourse but to go and examine the area ourselves. From here, that's probably even closer than the harbor. Indeed. That is where we must go. Perhaps you can entertain us with tales of your adventures as we make our way at him. Power unimaginable. Received. We cannot turn them away. T 
Party formation has changed. But we st okay. We can now finally switch who we're playing as. Uh, let's play as Adam. You've unlocked the ability to change party order. To do so, go to main menu, characters, and press X and choose which team you want to control. The team in position 1 will be under your direct control. Every team has its own style of doing battle, so feel free to experiment with them until you've found one that best suits your preference. Additionally, you can press ZL outside of battle to change which team you control directly. It's a rather useful feature, so feel free to play around with it. Just one more note about level 4 specials. The technique for driver and blade sharing one weapon is a unique innovation by Laura and her companions. Therefore, if you're controlling a team other than Laura's, you won't be able to use level 4 specials. But who knows? As the adventure continues, Adam and Hugo might pick up this skill too one day. Until then, do your best working with what you've got. Real quick. Uh, I honestly can't stand those sorts of environments. Would you mind going in my place, Jin? If you'd asked me to go practically anywhere else, I'd be fine. But that ship? No way. Take Laura and Hazel along? Mm, no, not yet. Okay then. I'll wait around here a bit longer. I will accompany Lady Laura. If Lady Laura is going with you, I will gladly do the same. You can actually take them with you. But I'm gonna choose to leave what them here. Because I don't think we need them particularly for this uh pretty easy mission. You're mine now. Ah. My favorite part. Okay. What is back here that Adam is flipping out over? Hi, Bridget. You're mine now. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to just leave that there. Alright. Let's play as Mithra. Something you would think unimaginable. In the base game. Just gonna randomly look over here. I don't know why I'm the one doing this. Just gonna randomly look over here. Yep. Okay, I guess we're fighting. Mithra takes forever to charge up her arts. But, you gotta remember, all of her arts are her, uh, specials from, uh, base game. disk space so I can't fucking record locally look anymore. Cool. Just gonna randomly cool. look over here. No, of course I didn't. They're on to us. I should have, but I didn't. I didn't think that far ahead. And for whatever reason, it doesn't like it can get while you're streaming. It's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. 
did you come from? Not that your present means nothing, it's just that I'm a fucking idiot. See, that one's even worse, because that one is still sitting here in the packaging. I told you, I'm a fucking idiot. Not bad. It looks like I'm on dinner duty tonight. Does anyone have any requests? Ooh, do something needy. Understood. Steamed vegetables, it is. Oh, wow. Rude. May as well just face up to the net. I'm glad someone was listening to the, the battle quotes. How stupid can you get? I hope that's what you're saying uh, that to Kim. Hmm. Okay. Tell me. Finally found the uninhabited height Titan? That's right. Made it there without a scratch. The map, the bard song, the Elder's legend. It was all true. I wish you could have had some of that fun after you bonded with me. No fair. Of course, back then I had no idea that I'd be the driver of an Aegis someday, not a clue. And I also had no idea that I'd end up with a blade who was so hungry for experience. I mean, I prefer when you have something interesting to say. I choose to take that as a compliment. Well, sure, it was hardly boring discovering that legendary uninhabited, uninhabited titan. Natives gave us a fine chase. Natives? I thought you said it was uninhabited. Well, to be precise, we didn't meet any humans there. Just some monsters of the Arachno, Antel, and Skeeter variety. Cool! And they must have been pretty huge specimens, too. They must have looked like extra tempting appetizers to them. There were really quite a lot of them. We were lucky to get off the Titan in one piece! Ah, fine recompense for an adventurous heart. So, your plans to build a holiday villa there came to nothing. More than a little tragic. Well, I mean, that wasn't the primary aim. Perhaps I didn't get the material reward, but I certainly got a spiritual reward. Things didn't work out quite well for, for my playmates, though. How so? It was a kind of paradise for insects, but I heard later on later that it was laid to waste by someone or other. The ways of humans are often cruel. What's done is done. It was a time of war, and they had to find a place for some refugees. But the monsters couldn't have uh, grasped that. They probably just saw arrogant humans wrecking their home. Ah, the telling of that falls hard upon my ears. Your Majesty, forgive my interruption, but it appears to be the location mentioned in the report. Ah, oh, ah, so we're here already. Journey passed as a, the blinking of an eye thanks to Adam's enchanting tales. If your servant's humble recounting was able to relieve your uh, imperial tedium, truly the most blessed of men I am I. Oh, I do wish you'd cut it out, Adam. I'm not your better, and you should know it. Wouldn't be so sure of that, Hugo, old friend. Now then, Mithra, I'd really like to get your opinion on this, as the Aegis. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this isn't Malice's handiwork. How did you come to that conclusion, Mithra? Malice's attack would have melted the earth and turned it to glass, but whatever did it only scorched the grass. It can't have been such a high temperature. It's a very wise deduction. We're lucky to have you as for now. I offer my apologies to you all for leading you to this disappointing conclusion. Nay, Hegeon. We could not have known without further investigation. With each possibility we discard. We move all the closer to our goal. 
Everyone, look there. It's a big one. Indeed. I cannot let it run right. Just think of the damage it could do if it got to Lasham Cove or a settlement. Everyone, get to it! They're on to us. Despair, Ropal. Spewing monster. It's a good thing we had a Gian on hand. Perhaps it's bold of me to say, but I've dealt with worse. Well, it seems safe to assume that this was the cause of the burn marks. I never could have I would have never dreamed that such a foul fiend could have lain in wait so close to Torga. Perhaps it was driven out of its original home in a territorial dispute. I've heard that happens from time to time. Yeah, maybe. Or more likely some human stole or smashed up its home. We call them monsters, but to them we're the monsters. Indeed, it must be thus. They shall dawn where man's exploitation of the titans will bring us all to ruin. Perhaps that dawn already is already upon us. Quester. Interesting thing you've got there. Malice enough. It's all right. Indol's most sacred treasure, the Aegis. It is said to be the embodiment of the architect's light, the divine revelations our founder Maldonare received. Really? Then. That's what I will be called, too. After all, I am born of divinity, not just some reflection. You believe yourself so strong? Huh. Don't you? Your situation doesn't look good. Boltrick is not going to let it go. Hmm. And you can't hide behind the Praetor forever. That has nothing to do with you. If that were true, you wouldn't be here. Hmm. place it's a very tasty secret formerly known only to the praetor and me i don't know the if i like the fact that he called it tasty. Forebears, originally salvaged from the bottom of the cloud sea some of it may hail from the fabled land of moritha moritha look This here display is a diagram of what human cells are made of. And then this one here is a blades. 
astonishingly alike. Of course. After all, they are descended from humans, too. That in and of itself isn't too shocking. But this... It's the same, isn't it? Just wait. That's a core crystal. Exactly. A blade's core crystal contains information not only pertaining to humans. It also records schematics describing all manner of animal tissues. You're saying blades contain detailed information of all living creatures? Not just that. Have a look at this undeveloped part. That is from a titan. It suggests that this particular piece may one day develop into a titan. Isn't it mind-boggling? A message from the architect, no doubt. From the architect? Indeed. This is just what you were after. I wish to investigate this, and learn more of what the Architect has in store for this world, and perhaps claim this knowledge for our own. Including the Praetor? Perhaps. Hmm. Isn't this in line with your own goals? Well then. I may as well help out. I believe that concludes my mission. Shall we head to the flagship? Fine by me. It's a good place for us to exchange information. It's currently moored at La Sham Cove. And to La Sham Cove we go. Our unimaginable. Complete. It has been our learning experience. It's found that the destruction was actually caused by a despair ripple. Having put the matter to rest, Adam and Co. head to Hugo's Flash Camp. We're not gonna head straight there. We're actually gonna take a pit stop at the, uh, the, the campsite. Because believe it or not, there is shit to do. I don't know why I'm the one doing this. Okay, what you got? I don't think I have any core crystals on the file of the main game, actually. But you cannot pull new cores in the DLC, period. I don't know why I'm the one doing this. gonna randomly look over here. May as well just face up to them now. I don't know why I'm the one doing this. Jin, worried about being away from Laura? Of course I am. Perhaps I bear some responsibility in this matter. No, it's not that. I just... Pretty unusual for you to get rattled, Jin. Hmm. I understand your feelings, Jin. Well, you needn't worry. At any rate, we should probably get ourselves over to the flagship as soon as possible. When we finish sharing information, we can make our way back to Torigon. Sounds good. I feel like we should take care of this Prano, for Jin's sake. You're only saying that because you can't stand dealing with the stuffiness. Zip it, Milton.
We now have access to Hugo's party's crafting. I'm a little nervous Hugo can make a uh, machine stuff. Precious items that come in handy while exploring. Bridget can make perfumes, which uh, they're fine, I guess. Not my favorite. There, a cologne to covet. I was so self-absorbed, I almost burnt it to cinders. And then refined cuisine from Aegea. Um, you don't really have anything I want, to be honest. I guess some of these can be good. Still don't have the stuff for this. But that's not super surprising. Let's see, can anybody level up? You, you can go to 16, you can go as far as 16, you can go further, but 16 is the limit. More honed with each day. I believe I've gained a little skill. I feel like I've learned something. We are done leveling up. Okay. Hugo. Is a tank. And he comes with Shield Bash, which is a topple art. Shall aim ever higher. Guard Shift, which um, restores 6% HP and recharges other arts when attacked. Which is better than any of the other guard arts. The culmination of years of sovereignty. Does that sound familiar? He has an affinity chart. With 979 skill points to work with. Increases max HP by 200 and that. Sure. Grant me the wisdom to lead ever better. Grant me the wisdom to lead ever better. And I might be able to do both of these. I am actually. always learning. I can do both of these. Grant me the wisdom to lead ever better. What do I need for that? 375. Okay. Adam now has 660, so I'll give him Standing his luck. On the shoulders of titans. And... Sure, you can have X. Work hard enough, and our efforts won't be in vain. Hugo's accessories. You can have some more HP. Except not that one, I want you to give have the best one that we have. Bridget! Um... Gonna immediately enhance her arts. Heat, hmm? Haze, Strength Will of the Wisp, Swirling Dragon. Force. Pretty Is sure those me, are her specials. Have I become stronger? Is it me, or if have not, I become stronger? they're her blade arts. I don't remember. You can I have your arts leveled polished. up. It's what I get for keeping up my training. I grow ever more polished. Okay. Infinity shirts. Cooking is naturally learned by doing. Think of the possibility. Make sure you use it for all it's worth. Okay. And I guess I'll check Jin's, but I didn't think he had anything. Do I have... Ox cores for them. Kind of. Nothing really good. Sure. What are you weak to? You're weak to fire. Do I have fire resist? No? Okay. Have some extra accuracy then. You, though. Uh. Shoot. Sure. And with that, I'm going to call it here for the night. 
Um, I hope you're enjoying. Next time I will have more, um, more storage space to work with. And I don't know if I'm going to be streaming this tomorrow. Or if I'm going to be playing Mario. We'll find out. But for now, we're going to save the game. And we're going to be good. So, good night. Moshi!